Another thing that you're going to need to be effective at correcting is multiple strategies for each fault. Part of that's going to employ different queuing strategies. And we have three general ones that we use. Do you guys know which they are? What are here? Touching, tactile, yep. That's like giving a target or creating a target for people to move towards or away. What else? Verbals, telling the person what to do. And the last one? Visual, showing the person what to do. You're going to want to have a lot of tools in the tool bag, for lack of a better word. Not every cue, although it could be a very good cue, it might not work for a specific individual. So you're going to want to have a lot of different go-tos. Here's a challenge that I give a lot of people. You guys know the level one training guide, right? It's the collection of all those old journal articles by Coach Glassman. In the back there, there's nine pages that have the nine different foundational movements. And we also list common faults. And they're not all the faults that you can see, but they're some of the most common faults. Take those lists of common faults and come up with three verbal, three visual, and three tactile cues for each fault. Then you have a list of nine possible corrections for each thing. Nine possible corrections for somebody rounding their back. Nine possible corrections for somebody whose knees cave in, and so on and so forth. And you're going to find through use and trial and error that you like some better than others and that you might refine that list and switch that list. But you really want to develop, on, develop a list or possible strategies for correcting. Because if you have to repeat a cue over and over again and there's no change in the movement, it's not the athlete's fault. It's the coach's fault. You've got to come up with something else. And so it's not just like switching the way that you say elbows up is going to all of a sudden result in actually the elbows up. Maybe you have to switch to a tactile cue, actually putting your arm beneath somebody's elbows so they lift them. Maybe you give them a target for their elbows to lift too. Maybe you also use a, um, a visual cue to show them the difference between their elbows are falling and their elbows are up and so on and so forth. Questions there? <laughs>